dear congregation. Today, we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries surrounding demons and fallen angels. In the pages of scripture, we find glimpses into the spiritual realm and the beings that inhabit it. Let us delve into God's word to gain insight and understanding into these forces of darkness. The Origin of Darkness, The Rebellion of Lucifer Isaiah 14 12-15 How you have fallen from heaven, morning star, son of the dawn. You have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. You said in your heart, I will ascend to the heavens, I will raise my throne above the stars of God, I will sit enthroned on the mount of assembly, on the utmost heights of Mount Zaphon. I will ascend above the tops of the clouds, I will make myself like the Most High. But you are brought down to the realm of the dead, to the depths of the pit. Demons and fallen angels trace their origins to the rebellion of Lucifer, once a mighty archangel who sought to exalt himself above God. His pride led to his fall from grace, and he was cast out of heaven along with a host of angels who followed him in his rebellion. The Nature of Demonic Influence, Spiritual Oppression and Temptation Ephesians 6 12 For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Demons, as spiritual beings, exert their influence through spiritual oppression and temptation. They seek to undermine God's purposes and lead humanity astray through deception, temptation, and spiritual warfare. Their goal is to hinder God's work and destroy His people. The Work of Demons, Inflicting Suffering and Bondage Mark 5 2-5 When Jesus got out of the boat, a man with an impure spirit came from the tombs to meet him. This man lived in the tombs, and no one could bind him any more, not even with a chain. For he had often been chained hand and foot, but he tore the chains apart and broke the irons on his feet. No one was strong enough to subdue him. Night and day among the tombs and in the hills, he would cry out and cut himself with stones. Demons seek to inflict suffering and bondage upon humanity as evidenced by their influence over individuals like the man possessed by a legion of demons in the Gospels. They cause physical, emotional, and spiritual torment, seeking to destroy lives and sow chaos. The Authority of Christ, Overcoming the Powers of Darkness Colossians 2.15 And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Despite the malevolent influence of demons, we find hope and victory in Christ. Through his death and resurrection, Jesus has conquered the powers of darkness and disarmed the forces of evil. As believers, we have authority in Christ to resist the devil and stand firm against his schemes. The Call to Spiritual Vigilance, Equipped with the Armor of God Ephesians 6 13-14 Therefore put on the full armor of God, so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. Stand firm then, with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place. In light of the reality of spiritual warfare, we are called to be spiritually vigilant and equipped with the armor of God. By standing firm in truth, righteousness, faith, and the word of God, we can resist the schemes of the devil and overcome the powers of darkness. Deliverance through the power of Jesus, freedom from bondage. Luke 4 18-19 The Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. In the ministry of Jesus, we witness the authority and power to deliver individuals from the grip of demonic oppression. Through his word and presence, Jesus brought freedom to those bound by demonic influence, demonstrating his dominion over the spiritual realm. Today, we can still experience deliverance and freedom through the name of Jesus, as he continues to set captives free and release the oppressed from bondage. Resisting the enemy, standing firm in faith. James 4 7. Submit yourselves, then, 
to God? Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. As believers, we are called to resist the enemy and stand firm in faith. By submitting ourselves to God and relying on his strength, we can effectively resist the schemes of the devil. Through prayer, fasting, and reliance on the Holy Spirit, we can overcome the tactics of the enemy and experience victory in our spiritual battles. The Power of Prayer, Seeking God's Protection and Guidance Ephesians 6 18 And pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. In times of spiritual warfare, prayer becomes our most potent weapon. Through fervent prayer and intercession, we can access the power and protection of God. By seeking His guidance and strength, we can navigate the challenges of spiritual warfare with confidence, knowing that He is with us every step of the way. Walking in victory, living as overcomers. Romans 8:37. In all these things we are more than conquerors through Him who loved us. As believers, we are called to walk in victory, knowing that we are more than conquerors through Christ. Despite the presence of spiritual forces of darkness, we can live as overcomers, empowered by the Holy Spirit and equipped with the armor of God. Let us embrace our identity as sons and daughters of the Most High, walking in the authority and victory that Jesus has secured for us. Dear brothers and sisters, as we conclude our exploration of demons and fallen angels, let us remember that our ultimate victory is assured in Christ. Though we may face spiritual battles and encounters with the forces of darkness, we do so from a position of strength and authority in Him. Let us stand firm in faith, wielding the weapons of our warfare, and proclaiming the triumph of Jesus over every principality and power. May we walk in the victory that is ours through Him who has overcome the world. Amen. Please like, share and subscribe to make everyday biblical.